Welcome to the tutorial video on 22.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about the window.passage global object as part of Snowman 1.3. Like other functionality in Harlow and Sugarcube story formats, two other story formats that come with 22.3, information about the current passage can be accessed through the window.passage global object in Snowman. This is one of two different global objects, window.story being the other, and in this video, I'm going to talk about window.passage. Different properties of the window.passage object can be accessed through ID, the identification number of the current passage, name, the name of the current passage, and source, the content of the current passage. And these are three properties we can access as part of the window.passage object. So, as we're moving through a story, window.passage will always contain information about the current passage being shown. And the three properties I've named here, ID, the identification number, name, name of the current passage and source will always be available to us as part of the window.passage object always showing the current passage currently being shown. We see examples of that right here. Notice we see the ID of passage is 2 and the name of passage is properties which is what we're looking at right now. Echoing functionality found in window.story, the other global object variable in Snowman, window.passage also has the function render, which parses the markdown, if any, in the current passage and returns the HTML result. And we see an example of that right here. So, like window.story that has render as well, where we can go and render a passage, we can also use window.passage to render a passage. These are just two different ways to approach doing this. When we use render, as I just mentioned, it parses any markdown, it runs any underscore template stuff, and it returns the HTML result and allows us to do something with it. In this case, though, we're just returning extra text. Let's go look at all of this code. So we see the start passage, very straightforward. I just linked to another passage. And properties is where we get into the properties of the window.passage global object in Snowman. We see here I'm using open and closing script tags, and then the JavaScript we're running right here. So first thing we're looking at is window.passage.id. Again, the identification number of the current passage being shown to the user. So window.passage, and then the ID. And window.passage.name, the name of the current passage being shown to the user. Two different properties we can get access to. And in these case, both right here, we're building a string, and we're using jQuery, which is also available in all story formats, but is more particularly useful in Snowman, to change some content. In this, <coughs> in this case, we're looking for an element with the name of log right here, and we're changing its HTML content to the string we just supplied to it. So this allows us the ability to mix JavaScript with jQuery with the window.passage global object. Moving over to functions, I mentioned we can also use render. So notice right here, we're saying, okay, using window.story and its passage function, go find a passage by this name, example passage, and then use the render function right here to render it, that is, take its contents and convert it into HTML. We can then use that rendered passage to change the HTML content of another element. In this case, we're using J using jQuery, we're looking for an element with the ID of log, this is right here, we're changing its HTML to whatever was passed into this. So in this video I've covered the window.passage global object and it's some of its properties that we can look at, we can access the currently running passage, look at its ID and its name as well as its source which is not as particularly useful, as well as get access to the render function which allows us to render a passage, that is, convert any markdown or run any underscore template stuff into HTML and save it. And this video has been a review of how to use window.passage within Snowman. I also encourage people to go look at the documentation to see other ways they might integrate this functionality within their own stories as well. Thanks for watching.